Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred Wood Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a video on what you can do if you have a older, even a discontinued Hikvision NVR, DVR or IP camera and you want to connect that piece of hardware uh, to the new HIK Connect mobile app. Okay, With this app you can connect devices to uh, the phone app through the cloud using serial numbers, okay, the serial number of the recorder or the IP camera. It's a relatively simple process, but to do it with older hardware, you need to first upgrade the firmware and enable the platform function under the advanced network settings. It's a pretty simple process. We're going to cover it right now. All right, so what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you'll be notified when we upload uh, future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you, and as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on subscriber question and comments. So the first thing we're going to do um, is log into the recorder. If you have a monitor currently plugged into the recorder, you can certainly use that. Uh, I'm connecting to this machine remotely, so I'm going to use Microsoft Edge. Okay, so we are going to log into the recorder. And of course, because we are using Microsoft Edge, you will have to install a plugin uh, and enable legacy mode in the settings for the browser. Um, so to do this, we're just going to download the plugin that unfortunately Hikvision requires. When that's finished, then we will go into our settings. And we're going to go into default browser. Let Internet Explorer open sites in Edge. So we want to do that. The other thing we will have to do is we will have to copy and paste the IP address of the device you're trying to connect to. So we'll just copy that and put it here and hit add. I'm sorry, I am for privacy blacking out the the IP address. As I said, this is a client and I'm connecting remotely, so it is not cool to share that IP address. Um, but I'm going to reconnect to it. And now it will say you are in Internet Explorer mode. Okay. And we're going to hit allow here. And we'll be able to log in now. I do have a uh, video uh, on this process on how to run Explorer in legacy mode in Edge um, for Hikvision or DAWA or any type of uh, security camera system. There's a link going across the top of this video right now um, with that process. But in any event, we're all set. So what we need to do is we need to upgrade this firmware to enable the recorder to work with HIK Connect. If we go into the configuration settings and then go into network and advanced settings, um, platform access, depending on the age of your machine, may or may not be shown. Okay. Um, and if it is shown, it may not show HIK Connect. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to um, upload the most current version of the firmware uh, because we know that will work with HIK Connect. To do that, we're just going to have to get the model number of the, the equipment, the hardware that we're working with. You'll find that in the System tab. Um, under System Settings, you'll see this machine right here is a DS7608N1-E2 slash 8P. The 8P, of course, means it's got a built-in... Uh, POE switch for eight cameras. So we're going to copy this. And we're just going to Google that. And that will bring us to Hikvision's website right here. 
it will tell you this product is discontinued. Well, we know that, um, but we still want to upgrade the firmware to work with HIK Connect. And there's your firmware, folks. Okay, so we're going to click on this and hit agree. And this is going to download, okay, the firmware. Once it downloads it, okay. What is that? Once it downloads it, it's going to open a file um, like this. Okay, you're going to have to double click on this folder, folks. And find the digicap file. Okay, because that's all we want. And you're going to just drag this into a folder. Okay, so we can drag this to documents right there when I open documents now I should see my digicap day file right here this is what we're going to download um, into the recording the recorder uh, firmware to do that we're just gonna we're gonna click the maintenance tab here where it says firmware upgrade we're gonna hit browse and we're just gonna go to that file which was documents and did you kept a right here okay so that's put the file here when we hit upgrade now it's going to tell you the device will reboot automatically after updating do you want to continue sure sure we do it will go through the upgrading process it says zero now as the process continues we want to see a green bar progress it might actually be red um, but in any event it's going to progress through a hundred percent once it gets to 100%, it's at 50 now, the machine will reboot and we will log into it at that point and you'll be able to see that we will be able to enable the HIK Connect function in that network tab. So let's let this finish. Depending on the speed of your internet and the age of your recorder, this may be quick um, or it may be painstakingly slow as this is. This recorder is actually a client's recorder um, that wants to update the firmware to connect it to HIK Connect. They currently cannot, um, so we're doing this remotely and thought we'd bring you along in the video. I used to speed up or shut off the video while it completed, and um, you always have those guys that say, oh, it didn't finish the process. That's why you stopped recording. Why don't you just leave it recording and we can fast forward? So that's why we let the, uh, the process play out, okay? We're three quarters of the way done, so bear with us just another minute here. Anybody know why seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over a bay, they'd be a bagel. Right? That's that's good. That's a good one. My kids like that. Yeah. Hopefully you like that. All right. 95 folks we're almost done ninety-eight, ninety-nine. it's rebooting okay so it took the upgrade um, we're going to let it reboot um, we're going to give it a minute to get back online. We're going to log back into it um, and enable the HIK Connect function. 
All right, folks, so the recorder has completed the rebooting process. We assume the firmware uh, settings have taken effect. Let's log in now. And check out the platform settings under Advanced Network and see if HIK Connect is now an option. So we're going to go to Configuration. We're going to go to Network. Now in the basic settings um, under network, make sure DHCP is selected and hit save. Um, that will ensure your recorder, um, your Hikvision hardware always has a favorable IP address with your router um, or um, modem. Uh, oftentimes facilities will change modems and routers uh, after an install. And if this recorder is not in DHCP, um, the gateway will not update if it changes with, with that hardware. Um, so that's very important. So you're going to hit DHCP here and hit save. But really what we want to see is under advanced settings, HIK Connect is now online, folks. Okay. So we can hit save. Uh, some models will ask you for a encrypt, encryption verification code, um, and you'll have to add that. Uh, and essentially when you connect the... Uh, hardware to the HIK Connect mobile app, um, it will ask you that extra step. It will ask you for that verification code. Um, with this particular model, it's not asking you, so that's golden. Um, again, we have a video, the link's going across the top of your screen right now, on how to download that HIK Connect mobile app uh, from the App Store onto your cell phone uh, or your tablet. Okay, if you follow that video, at the end you're going to get to a part where it asks you for the device's serial number. Okay, and how do we find the serial number? Again, it's under system. Um, here is your model number. Um, right below it, uh, after this R, is your serial number. Okay, there'll also be a QR code um, on the box. Okay, but typically you'll see a string of numbers and then there'll be letters, uh, and at the end there'll be a uh, a number after your letters. So you see AARR, R is the last letter, and you have a series of numbers. That would be the serial number um, that you would uh, plug into HIK Connect for the video in that link. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you in the field.